Hello everyone and welcome to this series on how to make an endless runner game. So in this video we are going to add some sounds to our game. So adding sounds to your game can make a huge difference. So in this video we will see how to do that. So we are going to work with the audio source component. So without further ado let's get started. So first let's start by creating a new folder for our sounds. Right click create folder. And let's call this sounds. Then you're gonna need some uh, sounds. So I'm using freesound.org website. Go ahead and download the sounds that you want to use in your game. So we have these three sounds. I have a main theme. As well as a game over and pickup coin sound. So go ahead and drag and drop these sounds inside the sounds folder. And inside this folder you can see here the uh, sounds so when you select the audio you have some settings that you can change over here for example the quality and so on and you can play the sound over here so the easiest way to play sounds in your game is by creating uh, an empty game objects then you can add an audio source component for example over here we can create an empty game object and that's called this main theme then you can add a new component and the component is called audio source here you can specify the audio clip for example let's uh, drag and drop the main theme then over here you can change some settings for example you can set it to loop and play on awake also you can change the volume of the uh, sound now when you hit play you see that the music is playing But this is not the efficient way to play sounds in your game, especially when you have a game with many sounds. So the best way is to create an audio manager script that has all the sounds. Then you can play the sounds using that script. So to do that, let's delete this empty game object and uh, let's create another empty game object and let's call this audio manager. Then reset the transform. So the idea is to create a custom class, we're gonna call it a sound, and each sound has some property like a name, an audio clip, and audio source. Then we can, we're gonna create an array of uh, sounds in the audio manager script, so that we can play the uh, sound that, you wa that we wanted to use. So under the scripts folder, let's start by creating the sound custom class, using right click create, C sharp script and let's call this sound then double click to open it up in Visual Studio and over here let's remove these two methods and also let's remove mono behavior so this is a simple custom class then because this is a custom class we need to mark this as serializable so over here let's use system dot serializable so each sound uh, has some properties like uh, the name so we're gonna declare public string and let's call this name also we need an audio clip the, the same thing public audio clip and let's call this clip as well and also we need to specify the volume of the sound so let's add public float and let's call this volume and finally we need the audio source but we can add more properties like uh, is loop so let's uh, add the uh, boolean is loop public bool and let's call this loop and finally we need the audio source using public audio source and let's call this source now uh, we're gonna create the audio manager script so let's go back over here under the scripts folder let's create the audio manager script so right click create C sharp script and let's call this audio manager then open it up then over here let's declare an array of sounds public sound and let's call this sounds 
Now when you save this and go back into Unity, then let's drag and drop the audio manager script inside the audio manager empty game object. And over here you can see that we have this array of sounds. So we have three sounds and we can specify the name, the audio clip as well as the volume and the ball parameter. So let's set uh, these. For example, uh, let's call this main theme. And let's select the main theme audio clip. We can change the volume over here. For example, 0 0.2. And of course, we need to set that to loop. And uh, the same thing for the others. So let's uh, call this uh, pickup coin. The same thing. You can drag and drop the uh, sound from the sounds folder over here and let's set the volume to 0 0.3 and finally we have the game over audio and let's call this game over then drag and drop the game over audio and let's set the volume to 1 for example now when the game starts we are going to look through the uh, sounds array and to create an audio source component with the uh, specified properties and we are going to do that from the audio manager scripts so in the start method let's use for each loop for each sound and let's call this s in sounds what we are going to do we are going to attach an audio source component with the specified uh, properties using game object dot add component and the component that we wanted to add is an audio source then let's assign this to the source of the sound using s dot source equals the attached uh, audio source component and over here we can uh, change the settings of the audio source using s dot source dot clip equals the s dot clip and the same thing for the other properties s dot source dot loop equals to s dot loop now let's save this and we're gonna need also a method that is going to uh, play the sound so over here let's create a method and let's make it public void and let's call this play sound so this method is going to take the name of the sound so it's going to be a string and let's call this name and inside this method we are going to uh, loop through the uh, sounds array the same thing like this but we are going to check if the name of the sound equals the passed name parameter so we're gonna use if condition so if s dot name equals the name we're gonna play the sound using s dot source dot play now let's save this now we can call the play sound method from anywhere of your scripts for example over here let's uh, play the uh, main theme using the play sound method here we are going to specify the name which is main theme now let's save this and go back into unity and hit play you hear that we are playing the main theme with the script the same thing for the other sounds for example we wanna to play the uh, game over sound when the player collides with one of the obstacles so let's go to the player controller script and over here in the method on control collider hit so when the player collides with the uh, obstacle we are going to set game over to true and also we can play the uh, game over sound using find object of type audio manager and we're gonna call the method play sound and the sound is called game over and the same thing for the uh, pickup coin so in the coin script over here when the player pick up the coin we can play the sound using the same thing find object of type audio manager dot play sound 
and the sound is called pickup coin now let's save this and go back into unity and hit this play button you see we can pick up the coins and when I collide with the obstacle we have the sound game over the same thing when you replay the game So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it, if you have any question or comment, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and have a great day!